Hi everybody. This is Lizzie Ohelse. This is Bumelse Lupika from Chicago, Illinois. Who will say something? I've been to the prison. I was three weeks ago. I was on suicide watch. And I was I was just really depressed. I wanted to, I was having bad thoughts. I wanted it myself. But um, I want to say to you, whatever you go to, and you go to suicide watch, and you go to depression, and you go to, um, and you feel like you ain't worthy on this earth, I'm here to remind you, every time you wake up, it's a purpose. It's a purpose why you're here. You know, my, I talked to my, my, um, my friend, she's a girl, and we've been friends for a long time. And she knows me. She knows me because she knows what I love, she knows I love to, to motivate and fight, keep people hope, you know. Sometimes in life, other people go see stuff in you that you don't see yourself. I want to say to you that you are here on purpose. And you know, she reminded me Yesterday, she said, this is what you hear for a purpose. And I want to remind you, when you go to your lowest, when you at your lowest, somebody will pick you back up. Somebody in your life pick you back up. And you got nobody in your life that can pick you back up. The Lord Jesus Christ will pick you back up. Because when you are broken hearted, he comes by you. He knows what to go to. He knows you. He nick you to get to your mother's womb. You know, I was very, I was very discouraged about my life. I was very depressed, you know, because sometimes I wake up in the morning I say, is this it for my life? No, God did God did wake me up for a purpose. Yeah, and I enjoy the ride, I enjoy the journey, you know. And Jamie really spoke to me yet. She really, she been, she, she been doing, she, she, um, she been through pain. She know what it feel like to be depressed. You know, she knows me. And I, we've been friends for a long time. And she knows me. And you know, I was listening to her yesterday. And she really spoke to me. She really gave me back up. You know, Everybody get depressed. Everybody get sad. Every, every, you might be out there. You might be sad. I want more for my life. If this ain't for my life, and God did wake you up and you did breathe, you can find something to enjoy. You can, you can find something to serve other people. You can find something that you love to do. You can find something that you enjoy, that you enjoy your gift. It's something that God gave you, and, and you wake up and do it every single You wake up and do it, and you don't worry about the money. See, you got a gift inside you, and you love that gift inside you. So you don't worry about... You don't worry about the money, you just love, you just love the, 
to do your gift. I love my gift. You know, I'm I'm this way for a reason. I guess cerebral palsy. I was born. My mother had me at five months. I was in a hurry to get here, but I made it. You know, I don't know what to been going through. I don't know what to expect today from me. You might be going through that addiction today, but I want to tell you, you are amazing. Even though you might be addicted to something, it's something in you that that God didn't wake you up to do. You know, I'm an inspiration to a lot of people. You know, yesterday morning I cried because I was thinking to myself, if I give up, look at all the people that they're going to be sad. Look at all the people they're going to be missing me. They're going to be missing my voice. You know, it's a reason. It's a reason why you're still breathing. You know, I don't know who my wife going to be. I don't know if I'm going to get married. But I know God got something else for me to do. I want to say thank you to Mama Deborah. Thank you to Mama Melissa. Thank you to... Thank you to, um... Noel. Mama Noel. You know, I'm, I'm blessed. And I got... I get these mamas, and they understand me. They understand the pain. They know when something wrong with me. Jamie know when something wrong with me. Abigail know when something wrong with me. Um, every, you know, I, I want to say my mother gave birth to me. They say I wouldn't make it. At the age of 14, and I'm 26, I'm still kicking, I'm still breathing, my heart is still beating. You know, you have a purpose, and I don't know what it is. I don't know what to be going to. You probably, you probably in the wheelchair. You probably feel like from the neck down, and you probably feel like in the hope. But I want to tell you. You probably get cerebral palsy, and you probably don't know what your gift is. I want to tell you it's hope. It's hope. Because every single time I breathe, because I'm here to give you a purpose. I'm here to leave a legacy. I'm here to make an impact in the world. I don't care about what other people think about me. You see, Jamie told me yesterday, Jamie was like, there's hell. Don't worry about what other people think about you. I'm not worried about what other people think about me. And Jamie was like, I don't worry about what other people, what other people do. I worry about you. I worry about your health. You know, I don't know. That might be my... Be my wife, I don't know. But the thing of it is, you are blessed. You are here. And you know, sometimes, you know, I wake up and I get to wait on somebody to put me in my chair. I get to have somebody put my clothes on. I'm physically handicapped. I'm not mentally handicapped. I'm more than in the conqueror to Jesus Christ, I want to say this to you. Greg Walker, my friend Greg Walker, he got diabetes. He had a leg amputated and he still get up because um, I am fighting Greg Walker. He's a, he's a, he's a, basement owner, he's a millionaire. You know, I buy him. I keep pushing.
see, because I know I got something to say in this world. You got to keep pushing. I don't know what to give it. I don't know what to be born to do. But what I can say is, cerebral palsy and not. Cerebral, I got cerebral palsy for a reason. You know, God do everything for a purpose. You know, it's the reason why I'm still here. It's the reason why I'm still alive. It's the reason why why you still breathe. It's the reason why you still wake up and, and you still breathe. You might be paralyzed from the neck now. You still wake up in the morning. You still breathe. That's because God got a purpose for you. And nobody else can do your purpose. You can only be unique. You can only be inspired. You're the only person that can invite other people to keep going. So that's what I do. I invite other people to keep going. No matter what no matter what it may look like. I I'm I'ma get my last breath on this camera. And you know like when I leave the only thing I have I can't get up, I can't run around, I can't get a car, I can't drive, I can't um cook my own food, I can't get myself dressed, I can't put myself in a wheelchair. The only thing I have is my voice. And my when my mother gave birth to me, they were like, Denzel probably would never talk. You know, but the thing of it is my mother prayed. She prayed. She kept praying for me to talk. And God had a prayer. Now they gotta listen to the voice that God gave me. And I'm using to make it I'm using it to make an impact in the world. You can make an impact. I don't I don't care if you got one leg. I don't care if you got well, I don't care if you can, if you fly, you can't see. I don't care. You can still make impact. The thing about life is, I want you to understand something about yourself. You are amazing. You are inspiring. Did nobody else like you in this world? Then nobody else can do what you do. I want to say this to you. You breathing? You know, you still breathing, you still waking up, you still got a purpose. So I want to say, I'm thankful. I got three brothers, three sisters. I'm the baby of the family. I'm the only one that gets cerebral palsy. And I'm the only one that can speak in front of people. I don't I don't know what you've been going through. I don't know your pain. I don't know. You probably alcoholic, but I wanna say this. If you drink yourself to do and when you get silver again, guess what? You are still amazing. You are still here for a purpose. I don't know what to be going through in your life. I don't know your pain. I don't know what type of job you go to every single day. But I can say this. Share proposal is my life. Cerebral palsy is what I gotta go through. Cerebral palsy is a part of me. Cause the Bible says I'm wonderful and faithfully made by God. I was made in God's image. I am not a mistake. God, God had a plan for me. He had a plan to prosper me, not, not to harm me, but to keep me open in the future. You know, 
my great, you know, Jamie really encouraged me. Like, you know, when I was at my lowest yesterday, when I was depressed, and I told Jamie, and I was like, I'm depressed. She really called me, and she encouraged me. You know, there's a reason, there's a reason why God put women in man life, because the one man to put their courage, to put the, bring your spirit up. You know, she encouraged me to keep going. So I'm encouraging you. Whatever you go through, you might you might be taking pills, you might be addicted to painkillers, you might you might be taking pills, you might be taking drugs. I don't know, but you still are amazing. You amazing. You inspiring. Cause look, whatever you whatever you go through today. In your life, you can tell your story with somebody else. Because somebody out here ain't going to what you going to. Somebody out here ain't going to what you going to. You're not alone. You're not alone. I still got to wake up every single day and wait on somebody to get me up. I'm not crying. I'm not complaining. I get depressed every now and then, but my life is not over. My life is not over to God says it over. To, to finish my gift, to finish, to finish my course on this earth. My course is, you gotta finish your course. I don't care, you might be 50 years old, you might be 60 years old, you got you got a course that you can give to the earth. You, you got something that you can give. You are here. You are here. What you gonna do? Like, you 60 years old. You talking about, I ain't got nothing to live for. I'm retired. No, you got a gift that you can use to get through life. I got cerebral palsy, and you're 60 years old, and you, you can get up, you can walk around on the walker, you can walk around on the car, you still got the gift. There's no exclusives. Stop making exclusives for your life. I want to say that to you. I don't know what you're going to. I don't know what to expect to, to hear from me today. I know you can't see me, but you can hear me. I don't know what you've been going through. Stop making excuses. Stop making excuses for your life. They say, I don't get the job I want, okay? I don't get the job I want. Work at the job, and when you find something that you love to do, you know, Steve Harvey, Steve Harvey was, uh, back in the dark, Steve Harvey, um, why you don't say it? Give me some light. Steve Harvey had a big, when, when he won the, 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 um, when Steve Harvey won, um, won the comedian because he, he is so funny. And, and when he, when Steve Harvey was younger, when he won, when he won, but doing, doing the, doing the jokes, he won $50 and then went back and quit a job.
Everybody went to pain. Everybody went to pain. The thing, if you want something in life, you gotta take risks. Ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. I dropped my glasses. You gotta take risks. You gotta jump off the ledge. I had to plug your thing up because it went out. Yeah, I know. You gotta jump off the ledge. Because ain't nobody gonna give you nothing. Yeah, life is hard. Life is hard. But ain't nobody gonna give you anything. You got to, you got to take risks, and you got to get out there in the universe, and you got to fight for your dream. You got to fight for what God called you to do. And I'm still fighting for my dream. I'm still, I'm still, I still wanna, wanna get on there. I still wanna be the greatest motivated speaker with cerebral palsy. I done landed my cerebral palsy to find me. Cause I am the greatest, because God made me the greatest. And, and let Brown, let Brown say something to me that I will never forget. He said, people might not understand you, but there's somebody in this room that understands your dream. I want to say something. If you tell your, your dream to your loved ones, and you tell them what you want to do, they can't see it. Only you can see it. Because they blinded. Family, they going to be negative. You know, you need, to, you need to focus on you. Don't focus on what other people say about you. Because that was that, that my girl Jamie said yesterday. Don't, don't, don't. Focus on what, pe what people say about you. Focus on yourself. But I want to say this to you. You got something that you can give to this world. You, 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 get, you, are, you are perfect the way God made you. I don't know what you're going to do in your life. I know it's hard, I know it's painful, I know, but I want to say this to you, I'm speaking with, I don't even have a paper in front of me, I don't even write, I don't even, I don't even, I don't even practice my beat, my beat, I just go for my heart, I go for what I go for my heart, and I, I want to say this to you. You are, you are beautiful. You are handsome. You are perfect the way God made you. You are made in God's image. And can't nobody take away your dream. Not the family, not the friend. So God, God know you. He knew you the day you were born. He knew you together in your mother's womb. The property you will not die but to give you hope in the future. You got a future. You got a gift. I don't even